Hello my viewers. I promised a few of you that I would do a video on leak detection and well here it is. Uh, first of all I use three different types of leak detectors such as most other techs would. The first and primary one that I use is actually my ears. Okay, I have very good hearing so I can hear if uh, a line is leaking and enough to where it's hissing and then it's easy to repair. If that seems not to work so well in locating a leak then this next one is always the fluorescent gas leak detector. It's just a spray you put it on wherever you think it's leaking or, or if you want to check a leak and or if you want to check to see if you have a leak you simply spray it on wherever you uh, think it might be leaking and and if you get bubbles uh, coming out then that means you have a gas leak so that's the second one the third and final leak detector that I have is an electronic leak detector this is actually a very good one it um, by CPS it's the LS 3000 and of course you would turn it on like this all right get it to set and then you work across areas that you think might be leaky and if it sounds off uh, with a really weird audible sound then you know you got a leak The most common places inside the air handler to develop leaks would be around the thermal expansion valve, around anywhere that tubing is connected to it, especially around flare fittings like right here, or around the power head, that's another good place, and around where the expansion valve is connected. Another common place is where you may have some rubbing. Uh, with your capillary tubes right inside here where it gets where you have a lot of moisture or also on the bottom side of the evaporator coil that's another place another common place would be here on the loops on the the evaporator coil right in here is usually where you'll find a leak on this expansion valve or right around this flare fitting or around this power head yeah more than once I found leaks on these types of service valves you can't seem to find the leak with the soap maybe you can find it with the electronic leak detector 